Well, here we go again. It's the three amigos on the road going from Terryall, Colorado to the Swatch area to change our fishing habits. Two of us are fishing, one of us is camping so far. We've had some nice success on some of the streams of the Terryall and the South Platte and uh, heading now down to closer to central to south Colorado and just west of Pueblo. Tom's still here. We haven't lost Tom. I'm relegated to the back seat, however. Yeah. I no longer have driver status, so they stuck me in the back. But I'm having fun. And I am your captain for today's journey. Uh, headed down to the old Coach Tone Hills to show Russ some uh, new scenery. High mountain streams that don't get a lot of pressure, so it should be a good couple of days of fishing. Yeah, in the future, you'll see some videos with some fish in it. We had one, but whoever was managing the camera had it turned around backwards. It's got a great shot of chest hair, very little of the fish that Tom was catching, but we'll, we'll correct that over time. We'll keep up with you. All right, the trio has left the uh, Puma City Acres in Lake George, Colorado, and we've arrived now at what we've affectionately called the lookout at Salt House. And we've picked up an additional camper with Jeremy's friend, John Wright. And you can see the layout here of our new setup at Salt House, or the Salt House Lookout in Swatch Valley. Tomorrow we'll fish the Swatch River and uh, our accommodations are very good. Here you see John and Jeremy Siefkus uh, getting ready for an evening. The camp stove is lit and Tom's preparing. Tom's doing something with his fly. No, no, he, Tom's preparing flies. Why do you take the barbs out? That makes the fish come off so much, too much food. <laughs> I take the barbs off, and then I put, in, I put a new thing that my, it'll fit on. My old one, it wouldn't fit on, so I bought one. And I bought one for you for those big pliers. Oh, well, I'm going to give you those big pliers right there. And we are, this is our digs right here. Are you recording? I absolutely am recording. Oh. Voice Let's and video? You. Yeah, the whole thing. Oh, God, the whole might, nine yards, man. I might, I might sing this song. All right. I know you're all asking yourself, when four alpha dogs get together, who gets to be the alpha dog? The alpha dog. Well, the, an <laughs> the answer is the alpha dog doesn't always drive. All right? So here we are in the Razor. We've got John Wright. We've got Jeremy Siefkus. And we got TD. And we're getting ready to take a little Razor ride. And TD is going to show us some of his talent as we leave Camp Salt House Acres. Acres, okay. Sounds no, good. Salt House Lookout. Salt House. Oh, son of a bitch. The Salt House Lookout, and the reason for that name, there's the Salt House, and it's salt Camp. <laughs> and over here is, as you'll see, we're looking at the mountains, and this is the mountain range of the Swatch. Swatch. Swatch Valley. And also, Mama you'll see Marita. the pop up showers that we've dealt with throughout the day. We may deal with again. And we may deal we're with filming again. This film. Instead of driving this drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're, there's there's, there's burning there's daylight. As four four going out, and only three will come back. We'll see. Again, here we are at the camp. You can see that uh, we have ample surroundings, privacy. Uh, we got a little hail in the tent today as we were down fishing. We went through a hailstorm and uh, plenty of water. Got back to the tent to find out that we had the uh, vestibule up. As you can see, they're making a, a bit of an adjustment to that so that we don't have to endure the same thing uh, with the next storm that comes through. Very enjoyable, great friendship, good time had by all. Back to the water tomorrow. Any time now, do what you want to do. 
Hey, uh, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Yeah, July something. You, I know many of you have been worried about us. We're just coming out of the mountains. Uh, I'll give you a little synopsis of, I don't know, I don't know when the last time I've slept in a sleeping bag under a tent for seven straight days with only two showers. But that's the history of this thing. It's uh, Jeremy, Tom, and Russ. We're coming off the swatch. And over the last seven days, we put in five days of fishing. Uh, we fished the South Platte, we fished the Terry All, and we've just come off the Swatch. And as a group of four fishermen, between Tom and Jeremy and a, a new friend named John Wright, we've caught somewhere around 200 small brook trout. And I contributed to that number with two, with two. <laughs> and for those of you who do math real well, that would be 1%. And you know my fishing background, grew up in the state of Iowa chasing catfish and farm pond bass. And I don't know that there's more athletic sport with greater stamina than running up a stream of brook trout. These guys, uh, given, given me away as an anchor, could probably cover about two miles of trout stream in four hours and uh, cover all the water. but. Uh, Tom has taken me under his wing and done everything physically possible to teach me how to pick the right fly, read the water, make the cast, strip the line, set the hook, sometimes more than I can handle. But I'll be back. I will be back. I will learn from this experience and I couldn't be uh, more appreciative of uh, Jeremy and his uh, uh, gratitude, gratitude to him for the experience he showed us. Uh, if this guy knows, if, if you want to go camping, call the outfitter, Jeremy Stiefkus, uh, Denver, Colorado. I'll send you his email number, his phone number, and, yeah, and he'll never say no. TD, what do you think? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank Jeremy for giving me his last cookie. <laughs> I appreciate that. I was getting kind of hungry. Um, had a great time. Might have had a little bit more rain than we anticipated. Um, if you want to see a thunderstorm and lightning crack, see it at 10,000 10, feet, and you feel <laughs> like you feel like you're in the freaking storm, not watching the freaking storm. That's because right. You are in the storm, so we we dealt with a little bit of rain. Uh, I would have to say that that Russ did try, <laughs> but uh, he caught a couple of fish. And uh, had a, a lot of strikes and just and just didn't quite get the hook set down. But uh, making progress every day. So we had a good time. Caught a fair number of trout. Uh, had an opportunity for rusting to see some country that not a lot of people get to see. So we had a good time. All right, we'll send you something when we're on. We only got about 20 hours, 25 hours to get from Colorado to Washington, Iowa, and another 10 to get to Kentucky. But uh, you figure that out. 40 hours of driving, 40, 45 hours of driving, and two fish, you gotta have your heart in it. That's the way I look at it. One last thing. Three guys went in, three guys came out, all 10 fingers, all 10 toes. <laughs> Safety no, first. Yeah, no one put a pillow over another guy's head in the storm. <laughs> I mean, it was a successful trip. All right, great. We'll talk to you guys later.